Right, hey there guys, uh, it is ATX Shadow Angel here once again uh, and this is uh, something I know a couple of people have been asking me uh, uh, when it will be up and so here it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to talk you through how I paint my gold. Uh, I've had this asked a couple of times, uh, especially after I did Angron uh, and also my uh, Sanguinary Guard Army, uh, which once when it's finished I'm going to do a big... Uh, big vid on it uh, as a, like a big one year celebration I've decided or one big year vid because it's something I did all of last year kind of in the background uh, so anyway uh, uh, so here we are uh, back again with uh, the ever loved full room <laughs> um, and uh, like I say we're going to go through uh, how I paint my gold uh, so uh, as I, as I started with the last one, I'll do this. Uh, so my first, what I start with first is this. Uh, as always, Games Workshop Paints. Uh, this is Warp Block Bronze, or Timbits if you still have it. Uh, it's a really nice paint. Uh, I've obviously been using it for a couple, a couple month, about a month or so. Um, and so yeah, uh, I will say that I've already painted the Warp Bronze on this because it was something I did uh prior to getting the cold so or a cold so as you can see you get this really nice bronze uh finish on the mod on the model uh as you can see i've done the wings uh the crazy amount of detail that's on the breastplate uh the outlining and bits of detail on the belt buckles uh knee pads uh, the va uh, the vanguards, the tips of the shoes, uh, all the detail on the th bits of thigh, bits of armor, uh, all the uh, Aquila low, uh, uh, tassel ends, which all come up on his ball up here, and that's a bit hard to see because the light's a bit. There we go. Uh, and I've also done the bit of gold upon the sword, just to give it a bit of. Uh, just to break it up a bit from where the black glove is going to be and the uh, silver for the sword. So yeah, so that's the warp block bronze. Uh, after that, it goes to the colour, which is going to defy me now by disappearing. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, better known, uh, there it is. Uh, dwarf bronze. Uh, now what I'll do is because uh, I can't remember what this is called now. I'll mention it in the next part. Uh, I'll see. I'll seek it out. But yeah, I use it. Uh, I still use this. It's a really nice uh, layer paint to get the transition between the bronze and the gold. Uh, obviously, if you and then just layer it in, it does look really nice. So yeah. So we're gonna go go away and paint this on him, and we'll see how it looks when we come back. So I'll catch in a bit guys. Uh, so here we are again guys. Uh, so we've just applied the coat of uh, dwarf dwarf bronze uh, which is now called, as I found, I found out, is uh, uh, Hashut Copper. That's H-A-S-H-U-T Copper. Just in case I can't say it. So there you go. Um, right. <laughs> so uh, this is full grim with it now applied. So as you can see, you can see the gold's come out really nice. Uh, brought more to the uh, onward look for gold. Or the onward go to gold, I should say. Or however you want to pronounce it. Or say it. I don't know. <laughs> so you can really see the areas that are now gold. Uh, as you can see, it's really come brought out. Uh, so from there, uh, we shall get, take to uh, this colour, which is uh, G Hanas Gold, I think. Uh, this colour. There you go. So this is one of GW's new layer paints since they redid the. It's and everything. It's effectively what used to be uh, shi uh, shining gold. 
Uh, it gives us a really nice, uh, fairly bright yellow gold. Uh, and it's really nice what, uh, going on to this kind of layer. Uh, so we shall come back in a bit and I'll show you how it looks. Catch in a bit, guys. Right then, guys, here we are again. Uh, so we've put the uh, or shining gold layer on. So as you can see, uh, the gold is now really quite built up. So it's really nice shining gold. Uh, now for the last layer of gold, uh, it's mainly just quite a nice highlight just to bring out uh, a few of the edges and uh, flatter surfaces. Uh, and that is going to be with this, which is uh, Ulrich Armour Gold which is uh, blazing gold if you still have it in old colours uh, it's a really shot, really bright gold colour um, and all that and it's really, I find it quite a nice highlight to it uh, so there you go uh, we'll, so we'll go away and paint this and then uh, we'll come back and uh, see what's next catch in a bit right, hi there guys so We've put the uh, the armor gold on it. Uh, as you can tell, the gold is a lot brighter. Um, as you can see, so it stands out quite a bit. So what I'm going to do, or what I do, uh, so now it's all uh, pretty much done and everything. Uh, I'm now going to put a wash of uh, null oil shade over the top and um, what this does is it, it blends the uh, the gold down to a really nice uh, yellow yellow gold finish but all the layers of highlight come, come through as well uh, so you get this really nice, uh, I wouldn't say flat but it's a really nice gold colour um, just to finish off the gold, uh, the gold on models. Uh, I know a lot of people will probably be sat, sat or they'll comment or something saying um, highlight with silver. Personally, I don't like highlighting gold with silver uh, due to I think if one either if you put too much on or you go over the top with it, it ruins the effect of the gold. But that's just a personal uh, point for me. Uh, I know some people do, and it works well for some uh, you know for some things, but. Like I say, it's not something I uh, I, I I like uh, to see, or it's not something I, I you know it ruins the effect of the gold because it makes it look too. What's the word? It, it it makes it look more silverish with the slightly goldish streaks in it, and it's a bit iffy for me. But yeah, but there you go. So I'm going to put the gold uh, the black wash on and uh, we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's uh, all dried and done. So catch in a bit guys. Right, so here we are guys. Uh, so the final wash, uh, the black wash has now been applied over the gold. Uh, and it cut, well, there's still a couple of bits drying, so. Uh, so this will be the effect that you come out with. And to me, it's uh, as you can see, see it's written quite nicely with the purple. Uh, obviously, with the camera, it's a bit, it's bringing out a bit of the brighter colours, but uh, for me, it highlights the gold just enough to give it that darker tint on the inside. Uh, in the grooves and so yeah so. Uh, right now the colours I have next to do on this or on Fulgrim uh, will be uh, will be the red will be uh, the red the red cape all the white um, the white uh, 
tassels and stuff, uh, the silver on the sword, the handle, and all that. But I'll do that uh, in between this video and the next one. Uh, the next one I'll do is uh, is a video on um, how I'm going to do Fulgrim's flesh, just because it's something a bit different from what I normally do. Because obviously. Uh, the way I've all, well, the way I've always heard and read uh, Fulgrim to be is he's quite very pale skinned. Um, so I'm going to be trying something a bit new um, in trying to get that look because uh, I've had a uh, coffee flask. Um, and so yeah, uh, so there you go, guys. I hope the, the these, this video somehow help, you know helped a bit or gave you a bit of ideas of trying uh, different looks for gold or something uh, as always drop me a comment down below um, uh, which I'll uh, read through and everything like I always do um, or uh, to keep up to date with Fulgrim and uh, all the other projects I'm working on uh, head over to the Facebook uh, Facebook page uh, drop us a like on the page uh, and everything and you know drop a comment uh, or ask questions or uh, or whatever uh, even show me bits that you're working on I mean I'd love to see some of the models uh, you guys are working on on there and uh, and yeah it'd be really cool uh, so I'll catch you again guys um, oh, like I say I'm not too sure what it'll be as I've got a couple of things going at the moment so uh, it could be anything uh, <laughs> uh, but I'll catch you again later guys Cheers again, and thank you very much for watching, and thank you very much for subscribing, and I'll catch you again next time.